Hi, Cecilia Shin here. Now, my dish is complete. And I must tell you, I'm very, very happy. But whenever you cook a good food and uh, the food is not uh, spoiled or destroyed or overturned. And I was very careful with the shallot. So I must tell you, this is a very delicious food. The rice, I must apologize. It's a bit sticky, yeah? no gain because I put a little bit more water. So for you, you cook less water as you sprinkle uh, the water in. Uh, and then you just stir and it's one piece by piece, it's cooked, it just stops. I cook over too much. And then now I would like to try because this is the food that I missed a long time ago. Let me taste. Huh? Perfect. I will say, mm. give me more light and please share. See all the nice and beautiful shallot or the small little spring onion. Huh? I cut and then become two box. So I'm going to fry it already. Put oil and slow, high fire, medium fire, deep fry until it becomes beautifully crispy. Now it's frying beautifully. So that's how I show you. This is my first, first, uh, very first stir. I let it fry and then now I stir. So now I stir is because from the bottom you stir up so that it will not turn black. And slowly stir, set about a few minutes and then all very well even. Let it cook again. Then stir again until you see the oil, the oil a lot, and the spring and the small shallot all floating up. The apple will be ready. Okay, now you see it's only golden color, beautiful color now. <clears throat> I've been standing here, fry and move and move. <clears throat> Come on, moving. So you see beautiful, right orange color, right? So this is high time to take up already. Don't switch off the fire first, ah. Huh? That that is it. Maybe go heat, go heat. Give me a towel. So just the uh, continuous stirring, but cannot let it turn to be very golden color. So now we quickly clean it up. I'm going to cook Gurtani rice. It's a very uh, a tradition from my grandma who hang down, pass it down to us. And I would like to share this recipe with all of you. Now, at the moment, this is what you see first before you see my face. I steam the rice with a cheesecloth. And as I steam, I will afterwards, at about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I will sprinkle water. And I want to see how the content is until you steam, until uh, like a uh, piece by piece separate. Huh? So this is a steamer. Now the first part we steam the rice and below the water I put a few pieces of the nice fragrant pandan leaf so to get the aroma. Okay. Now this is the ingredient for the crystalline rice. Huh? Now the mushroom I pick some big one very big like my palm is so big. Turn over. Soak it say, about three to four hours. If you can you soak it overnight. I like more mushrooms, so I put a lot. But then, if for your for the ingredient, it should be one kilo uh, Brittany rice. Okay, soak about 40 minutes. No need to soak too long because you steam and you you will on intervals spray water onto the rice. But this one you soak a bit long, so I put a bit. But usually, if you want, you put the big one ten. After that, uh, when it's soft, then we slice thin thin. These are the mushroom ingredients and the onion, small shallot. This is called a rice bowl. You see the rice bowl? Small rice bowl, the Chinese kind of rice bowl. Just one small rice bowl. You need a lot of shallot because shallot will fry dry stream and then you need to fry the pork. That is uh, the recipe of my Kutani uh, rice. But this one, the pork, uh, we, I will have to cut it thin, thin, small, small, tiny piece and season it. So these are the ingredients. So I will later on come back to you again and hope you get in fact prepared. We have to prepare all this. Now the pork is ready and it's very uh, soft already. So I put a dash of 
dark sauce. If you do not know how much, just put half a teaspoon. Just cook it like that. All on high fire, no need to reduce fire. If it's not salty enough, okay, you add a little bit of uh, just a dash of salt. This one salty, never mind, because the rice is not, no salt at all. So from here, you can mix together with the rice. It will be just perfect. So the next will be the mushroom. This one quite a lot of work, but if you all prepare your job, uh, your ingredient well, it's very easy. Just the flow is by just cook over and then continue. So now it's ready, but put aside. And then I scoop another half, just three quarter oil. This one is a spring onion oil, yeah? a shallot oil. Yeah? Okay. I did not wash the frying pan and also you don't wash so that it gives you a good uh, frying good smell. Now the other half, this one seems a lot less. Maybe it's too much, I just put a little. This one will be frying mushroom. Now fry mushroom you need to put just half a teaspoon of garlic, I forgot. Just, just half a teaspoon of garlic so that it can give you the aroma smell. And the fragrance to bring it up for the for the mushroom. Just half a teaspoon, nah. Okay, don't need so much. So see, the smell is out. So I pour in the mushroom. Now mushroom, you have to cook a bit longer. So to pull a bit, a bit longer. And then now you can add a little bit of seasoning. So the seasoning is also the same. Salt, pepper, and uh, maybe a bit, uh, just a half a teaspoon of sugar if you want. But for me, I would like to add dark sauce and light sauce so that no, I don't need to put sugar at all. So now at the moment, I will just put a pinch of salt, or you call it half a teaspoon salt. Then now I will add in a little dark sauce. So I said half one teaspoon dark sauce, okay? One teaspoon not enough. That will be two. Total three. Because my ingredient a lot, I put three. But for you, if you put only less than half a kilo, you put less. I'm cooking the sesame rice one kilo, ah. Huh? So my mushroom is about one big bowl. So now I put hot water. Hot water is best to put one cup. Hot water. And a dash of pepper. This one is a little bit rough, so it's nicer taste. Or a little bit of gross pepper, huh? gross, rusty chop. So now, make it go to stew. Just simply simmer it, simmer it until you feel that the mushroom is good. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. Slowly, it has to have the mushroom to be cooked. But the softer, the better. If the water reduced, not enough, but the mushroom still very hard, you can add a little bit more water, say another half a cup. So now I cover. Okay, so I come back again. Okay, the mushroom is well done. I can see quick part, quick part got oil, you know. No more water and they are very dry. So that in this case, uh, this mushroom uh, can keep a long time. Even though it's uh, mixed together with the rice, it will not spoil. But sometimes the thing, uh, certain things have to cook a bit dry. Uh. Now, this is all done. You can see the oil, click -clock, click -clock, right? And the taste is very tasty. What I do is now I off the frying pan. Now the job is done. So I'm going to add the rice and everything ingredient into this frying pan. So it's called a mixture of Brittany rice. So I put the Brittany rice that has steamed already this afternoon. And then I pour it into the frying pan. That's how we fry up. I need the big bowl, so I have no choice. I use my frying pan. So now you see, I have to open it up and then I wear the hand glove now. So what we do is that we mix. Now this recipe is like this. You cook and then you mix them. Mix them well. Let it loose. Bit 
by bit. The rice, spread it. And then you mix with all the ingredients that you have cooked just now. It's a very delicious, heartwarming uh, recipe in this uh, Brittany rice. This is a very, very traditional way. You steam, or you can use it in the rice cooker to cook, but sometimes some, some cook and some not cook. Huh? The rice, so it's good to steam it with your hand lovingly, and then we mix them together. Okay, this one is the mushroom we mix already. So what coming? This is a dry stream. Okay, dry stream you pour, but don't pull up all, because you need to put a bit of topping. So we leave a little bit behind. Okay, then now we put in the pork, just now the, the, the link pork I cook. Now you pour all the sauce in. You, this one, the link pork got sauce. Mushroom got no sauce, huh? So we see, very nice and so delicious. I'm so hungry. Now, last, spring onion plant, just two and cut as fine as you can. This will all mix them together. Last and not least, just put two tablespoons of the spring onion. That's how we fry. Or you call it the shallot. We just fry. Mix them together. Mix it and then clean up the spoon. Eh? Okay. Now, salty or not, I tell you it's salty because that's not the, the pork. I put salt. And then I put seasoning, put light sauce. So this is more salty enough. Use your two hands with a hand glove and then you massage them and mix them all together. Okay? Mix them up all together. Now, some of them are very sticky, so never mind, it won't stick your hand now. So after mix all very well, you taste it. If you think it's very tasty uh, enough, then you don't need to add any more dark sauce. Or you like it to be light like that, okay? So this is the finishing part. Last and not least, you can sprinkle some of the spring onion plant. That's how we fry. We will sprinkle the spring onion plant or mix mix with them. It will be delicious, very delicious. Now this one, how you eat with chili? The chili will be. You will eat the chili must be garlic chili. Then only this delicious meal will bring up the, the delicacy, the different taste of the food. Now you see, so nice, yeah? So now I will add some spring onion. That's how the shallot that we fry. life to the weekend.